now we want to the problem number 3 a plane and elevation of line pq dash mm long measures dash and dash respectively that is first they have given the pq line means it is nothing but two length and then measures means it is nothing but upper end length top view and front view we should consider next end p distance they have given above hp and in front of ab determine its projection determine the true inclinations with hp and vp in this problem they have we should consider both true length and the upper end lens okay by taking those true length and upper end lens we should construct the problem here okay so in order to solve these problems guys uh, i'm telling telling you seriously it takes a lot of effort so i'm requesting from you that you should share this videos to your respective classmates so that they can be benefited from this Okay, first we will construct an XY line with thickness 0.25 mm and mention XY VP HP. So in this problem we should consider both true length and upper end length. So here the end point distance I will consider first using offset command. 20 mm above HP I will consider and 30 mm in front of VP. So there are two locus lines I am considering. I will change these continuous lines into dashed lines. Okay. Uh, now here first I will consider the two lengths. So here two length they are not given and the upper end using this upper end lens we should construct the two length. So measures dash m and me, uh, that means uh, here with the help of the upper end length we should proceed the problem because we don't know how much uh, length at which uh, the true length it is falling because we don't know the angles also. So I'll be using the upper end lens to construct the true length here. So I'll consider the first upper end length as uh, 75 mm okay upper end length in top view. Now, so that's what 75 upper end length now go to now we construct the true length from this end i'll consider the true length for 80 mm okay type 80 so here actually i, I should consider this arc by center instead of the line okay go to arc by center and here from this end select the radius 80 mm and cut the arc So this gives the true length, true length 80 mm, okay, the same way we do it for the, so at the end of it we draw the locus lines here, you can mention that this is uh, P dash and Q1 dash. Because this is a true length, Q1 dash. Okay, angles also can mention. This is true length angle of inclination in front view. Now again, so I'll be drawing another uh, upper end length. I consider another upper end length. Okay. Upper end length in front view will consider. So I'll consider the length of 70 and I will draw vertically straight line downward. Okay. So go to arc by center. This is uh, 65. Okay, 65 and 75. There are two upper end lengths. So go to true length. As we know that. So I will considering the true length as 80 mm. So cut the arc for 80 mm length. Okay. Just by extending this straight line. So you can get the exact point here. I think 
think I have not drawn a uh, end point line here. Okay, I'll just check it. Okay, yes, uh, that is what the mistake. So I'll be considering the first end point length here for the uh, P point. Then after that again I will redraw. Okay, so that we get the exact reference end point. So again go to arc by center. So from that end point consider a length of 80 mm and cut the arc. Okay, now we can see, so we are getting the exact end points. So now you connect from this end point to the, so we are getting the true length here. Okay, so we are getting the true lens. By using this true lens, we can get the upper end lens here. Already we have drawn the upper end lens of 65 and 75. Okay, using this uh, we can cut the arcs. So it will be easy. So with respect to the end of this another true length, I'll be constructing another locus line. Go to arc by center and measure this length and cut the arc. So by cutting the arc we get the upper end length here now. So from this end point P dash. So this is what your P dash Q dash. Okay. Same way. Do it for the bottom end. So this is what the 75 mm we should consider. So already I have drawn a straight line. Okay. So cut dark. So now join the upper end length with the thick line of 0 0.50 mm. Okay. So this is where this is what we constructed both upper end lens and top views. Now we have to find out the lens. So you can mention here. So this is P, this is PQ2, that's what true length, and this is PQ. This is true length. Now we have to mention the angles. So true length uh, in this problem I have considered 80 mm. Upper end length in uh, front view I have considered 65. same way upper end length in top view I have considered 75 mm Actually, 75 mm we should consider. Okay. 